Okay, so what is the relative size of this to this? You never really see it in the model world um, because all the gauges uh, have Americans, American stock at a smaller scale. It's true for N gauge and well, what do you call it? HO. <laughs> well, 16 millimeter uh, gauge track, which is HO scale. So only HO stock should go on that track, but double O also goes on that track. And that's uh, 176 scale. It's a uh, bigger scale than HO. So again, uh, the British stock is at a bigger scale than the, than the American. And it's the same for O gauge. Uh, the uh, British stock is at a bigger scale. So I thought I'd show the difference. I've got an American HO scale and a British HO scale. The American is a Pennsylvania K4 and the British is a class 33. Now you may be wondering why on earth is he dragging these locomotives out well this locomotive uh, I've already dragged the class 33 out to the position the place where I want to take the photograph and now you will see me dragging out the K4 what on earth is he doing that for well my way of modeling um, on a layout um, I think you should only place stock and remove stock from the layout at certain designated uh, places so so now, now this is a test track what is a test track for it's for testing your uh, your modeling abilities um, so therefore I do the same on my test track my test track will also have a certain place where um, where stock is, is entered and taken removed and this is the place here on the left, um, where that happens. Being as it's too much hassle to electrify this piece of track, um, I decided to drag drag them out with my O scale uh, Fowler. Um, uh, drag them out to the place where I want to take the portrait. Um, eventually, I hope to convert these HO scale models to O scale by making it possible for a 143 scale driver to drive them. But that's another story. Anyway, let's drag this K4 out and put it beside the Class 33.